Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we got the Samsung Continuum. Oh. oh. So, as you can tell, it is locked. And, um, just got a PAX activation. You can't activate it no more. Uh, because towers aren't available no more. So, we're going to put this thing in the oven at 350 degrees for an hour so it's 939 right now we'll put it in there. and I got it set at 350 turn the oven light on press the uh, what I might do is actually on this I might take the battery out to be honest probably not a bad idea I don't think it has a temperature rating. You're not exposed to high temperature above 140 degrees. So we're going to leave it out. Let's do the phone itself. Got a washcloth here. One of the old rag ones I use out in the garage to uh, keep the phone from melting to the pan. I'm going to throw the phone in there. And we'll go one hour on the timer. I guess I'll see you in an hour. Okay, guys, so it hasn't been an hour. It's been 40 minutes. Shut the timer off. Go and shut that off because uh, I think it's been long enough for this poor little Samsung to be baked and cooked. I uh, definitely see damage all over it. So we'll let it cool down. We'll throw the battery back in it and see if we can get it to turn on. Stay tuned for the rest, guys. Alrighty, guys. So it looks like the phone has finally cooled down for the most part. It's still warm, but it's pretty much cooled down. Let's take a look at it and see what happened. So then I need this flashlight now. There we go. So here you go, here's what it got and melted all around the poor little thing. The micro SD card cover is gone pretty much. The back cover. This side pretty much took the worst. The display kind of delaminated a little bit. Except wipe the screen down. See it delaminated a little bit here. Um Go ahead and see if we can pull this back cover off. Alright. It's the back cover. Pretty warped. Definitely smells a little crispy. Here's the uh, the sticker with the uh, phone's information. I'm not sure we're going to have very good luck with this one. The camera lens is melting completely on the inside. I don't think the battery is even going to fit in it, to be honest. No, it's not. Let me grab a screwdriver and see if I can maybe... Get some of that to come out of the way if it doesn't turn on here. I'm going to grab a screwdriver and I'm going to pull these screws out and I'm going to pull this bezel off so I'm going to take a look and see what's going on. Alright, so I got the uh, screws all out that I see. I'm thinking if it turns on, it's going to have a, uh, a really bad LCD distortion probably from the heat. Uh, I didn't expect it to, to melt like it did to be honest. I don't know if I can get this cover off either. Let me set the phone down on the screwdriver real quick to kind of space it out. See if I can get this cover off. It looks like a lot of everything is kind of melted to it. As you can imagine. Here's kind of a wrap. We got this piece for the uh, SD card just fell off. But you see it looks like it's all melted up here at the top. To like part of the board looks like it 
There we go, yeah. So the headphone jack and everything melted to it, the speaker. So that's all off of it. And if I hold this here at the same time pushing the power button, Let's see if it turns on or not. I don't show any signs of life. Nothing. And the contacts are definitely being touched. If I'm a guessing person, it probably uh, unsoldered something with the heat. Maybe, I don't know. Better the LCD's gone bad. But I show no sign of power on this one. So there you go, guys. There's an interesting video for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for the next one. So, guys, I had that uh, continuing my drop testing. I hooked up the board into its screen, which is cracked. But I was able to get it to turn on. Samsung logo there. So it's just the uh, display that's actually bad on that one. So the board technically withstood the heat and everything. You see there it goes, booting up. So it was just the... Um, Display that couldn't handle the heat. I probably got a bad LCD or something. I keep moving that battery so it keeps coming loose. But if she is fully working, I can't move my thumb because I'm holding the battery in. But yeah, it goes. Yeah, still fully works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the parts from this drop tested phone, uh, put back on this one, and then drop test this one as well. So we'll be prepared for that video. I just want to give a follow up on that and see what happened and let y'all know. You see that was the board we tested because that was the, uh, the label that got melted. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.